Hello my dear friends, as true hardcore fans of Demon Slayer, you must be familiar with our Shinazugawa Genya. He is one of the most badass Demon Slayer or we might say the most badass demon in the Demon Slayer series. But, did you know that his stepdad is none other than our rock Hashira Himejima Giyome? Yes, you heard that right. And not only that, he also have some interesting facts that you wouldn't even have expected. So, let's dive into the world of Demon Slayer and reveal all these interesting facts in the most hilarious way possible. So, let me regale you with the tale of Giyome, the one and only powerhouse Demon Slayer. This guy is like a human wrecking ball, capable of taking down more anime characters than you can count. Seriously, he's so strong that it's like he flexes his muscles just to scare the demons away. But he not only just a powerhouse but he also has golden heart, because according official Kometsu no Yeba data book, Giyome took in this young whippersnapper named Genya and practically adopted him as his own stepson. Yep, you heard right. Giyome became the ultimate father figure for Genya and trained him to make his Sugako. But unfortunately, there was just one teeny tiny problem. Our poor Genya couldn't use those fancy schmancy breaths like the other slayers. So, did Giyome give up on the kid? Of course no. He decided to put his creative hat on and trained Genya in all sorts of other techniques to make up for his breathlessness. It was like a masterclass in unconventional demon slaying methods. And let me tell you, Genya's early life was no cakewalk. But thanks to his bond with Giyome, he found his way into the Demon Slayer core and gained the skills he needed to kick some serious demon butt. Now, let's move to our point number 2, Gaina's Flesh Gun. Hold on to your hats folks, because Genya Shinazugawa is about to show you that not all heroes need fancy swords and breathing styles to kick some serious demon booty. Sure, not being able to master those breathing styles may seem like a disadvantage, but this guy knows how to turn a disadvantage into an advantage like a boss. Introducing, the Flesh Gun. Genya's reliance on guns rather than swords adds a unique twist to his demon slaying game. But here's where things get really interesting. After sinking his teeth into a piece of Kokushibo's shattered sword, Genya unlocks a mind-bending ability. He can detach cells from his own flesh and merge them with the material of his trusty gun. The result? An epic transformation. Genya's gun takes on the appearance of Kokushibo's sword complete with a multitude of eerie eyes adorning the barrel and muzzle, it's like something straight out of a supernatural sci-fi movie. But here's the kicker, those eyes aren't just for show, they grant Genya super accurate aim, turning him into a demon blasting marksman who hitting the bullseye every time. Number 3, Flesh Gun Made by Kokushibo and Hantengu's Cells. Hold on to your hats folks, because Genya's demon eating escapades are about to take a hilarious and twisted turn. You thought his power to absorb demon powers was as fleeting as a candy bar at a kid's birthday party? Think again. Genya has discovered the art of turning his demonic snacks into some seriously quirky and useful techniques. After chowing down on some fancy demon cells, including the cream of the crop like upper rank 1 and 4, Genya's cells get all jazzed up and decide to throw a party of their own. They cozy up with sunsteel bullets, turning them into the most bizarre yet effective ammunition you've ever seen. It's like a shotgun romance between bullets and demon DNA, and the results are out of this world. Once those modified bullets soar through the air, something truly magical happens. Genya being the trickster that he is, can actually manipulate those suckers mid-flight. It's like playing a game of bullet billiards where he skillfully guides them towards their unsuspecting targets. But here's where things get really nutty. As soon as those wily bullets find a cozy spot inside someone's body, they sprout into massive trees. Yep, you heard me right. It's like Genya's bullets have been taking horticulture lessons on the sly. But wait, there's more. As the paralyzed victims sit there, contemplating their life choices while stuck in a tree, Genya swoops in for the grand finale. Using his trusty flesh bullets, he sucks out the demon's blood like a straw in a juice box, effectively shutting down their own demonic powers. Number 4. Gaina's Demon Slayer Mark. While most slayers rely on their breathing style abilities, Genya decided to take a different route, after munching on the cells of not one but two mighty upper ranks demons, something extraordinary happened. The guy sprouted his very own demon slayer mark, which was looked as same as Kokushibo's. Number 5. Gaina's Power Menu. Alright, get ready to sink your teeth into Genya Shinazugawa's extraordinary power menu. While other demon slayers rely on specific skills and abilities, our guy Genya takes a culinary approach. Instead of honing traditional powers, Genya taps into his inner foodie and gains his abilities by feasting on the flesh of demons. The more formidable the demon the juicier the powers he slurps up, but it's all temporary, like a delicious but short-lived food coma. 
Eventually, he reverts back to being a regular old human. But hey, even during his limited power-packed window, Genya proves he's no pushover. Just picture this. He goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Aizetsu, an opponent who gives other demon slayers nightmares. Yet, our man Genya manages to overpower him. Genya's combat style is as unpredictable as today's lunch special, constantly evolving based on the powers he's devoured and his own ingenious strategies. It's like watching a master chef create a culinary masterpiece, blending different flavors and techniques to serve up a dish you never saw coming. Anyway, I think it's enough for today. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in next one.